Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Danny. Uh, once again, just uh, just come to do a little update real quick about the sago palms and sago palm seed germination. Uh, as you as you might have seen in my other videos, I uh, started some uh, sago palm seedlings, and they started to germinate, and uh, they got a good tap root going, but. Uh, I'm gonna have to make a confession. I went out on vacation, and the place where I left them uh, was really hot. And so, uh, when I came back from vacation, uh, I didn't water them for like two weeks because I was like really busy. But uh, some of them hanging on. I'm gonna show you here in just a few minutes. Uh, some some of them are hanging on, and some I'm just gonna have to replant and uh, throw away some seeds. Uh, I got a lot of backup, but uh, they were growing, they were growing really, really good, and they just got dehydrated. And so I'm trying to let them recover right now. I got them out here in my front yard. Uh, we, we've been getting a little rain, a lot of rain for the last few weeks. Well, sorry, a lot of rain for the last few days uh, right here in the summertime. So uh, I got them out here in, in the sun, and somebody asked me a question about the tap root. Yes, the tap root goes into the ground first, and then out of the ground springs up uh, a little sprout, and that's where your leaves come from when they're first growing. So I'm about to show you those here in a second. Uh, so here they are. As you can see, uh, ones like these, this one has been dehydrated, it's turned brown. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip those ends and let them dry out for a couple more days. I've been letting it, uh, the rain get into uh, the soil here and uh, really just moisten that soil back up. And I'm sticking back in inside my garage attic where I had them. I might put some new uh, seeds uh, here. Oh, look at this one. This one here is one that it's germinating and the tap root went into the ground and then the sprout started to come up here and that's the one that's in the half a shell there but uh this one here it got really long the sprout started to come up it's getting it's gaining its color back so i think uh it's gonna be all right i might clip them uh, just to see how it works but those are some of my seed pods right there. I got a few more of them here, just like this one, starting to regain its color back. Uh, I just were, I was neglecting them, and uh, I just want to apologize to myself and these beautiful plants for neglecting, neglecting them like I did. Uh, I planted some in the ground just to see how they were gonna grow. And here's one here, I, I wasn't expecting to do much, but as you can tell, it has uh, taken root and put up some nice green leaves here. And that one, they just started to sprout. It's about, it's about six, six to eight inches tall. It's a young plant. And so, uh, I'm gonna have to replant some new seeds and let these ones that I had dry out and uh see if i can regain them uh my seedlings back but also i had some pups that i picked off of uh several trees and i'm going to show you those here in just a second and uh these plants here have really taken off and i'm really proud of the way that they have so here they are right here let's start with this one over here this is one i had three in here and some of the uh pups as you can see, had like a hollow inside. So I don't know how feasible it's gonna be for this particular one. And what I'm gonna do is just plant it in the ground and hopefully uh, it can catch a nice root uh, for the same as this one. Uh, but here's one that is, I'm really proud of. It, it's, just, it's taken to the soil very well. And as you can see, it's a new leaf starting to come up here. So I'm proud about that one. They're very, it's very soft right now, very tender. And so I'm proud of this one here. This one is about six to 
eight inches tall and uh i got several more here's here they are in my yard here i'll just let you see some of the ones that are starting to take root these 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 pups are very young and they are just starting to put out some nice leaves this one a little firmer leaves here so these are really nice uh, i have some that are holding on i think they're going to be all right and so here was here here's some more younger ones here and uh, they're starting to take root very nicely uh, this is one of my prized ones i'm proud of here young pup that is taken quite nicely to the soil there's one i planted had it about a month now it's done very well the uh, sprouts have come out of it and as you can see they have sprung up to about a foot about 16 inches or so and here's another one here same one i think these are all females i picked them off of female trees so I'm proud of that one. And here's my little tiny baby one here. Just starting to come up. And some of it's, it's taking really some of these plants. See this one has a nice new leaf coming out of it. It's very tender. And this is one of the bigger pups that I had. But sometimes it takes these, these pups about six weeks to actually put out a sprout like this one see that sprout right there now I had this in the in this in the same pot for almost a month and a half close to two months and it's just now starting to put out a nice tender leaf there hope you can see that I don't know how well you can see that but those are some of my pups there and these are the ones that haven't quite kicked out anything yet. This is one of my bigger, my bigger pups here. It's, uh, it goes in the ground about four or five inches. And uh, it's, I wanted this one to go ahead and kick up. A nice little sprout, man, but it haven't yet. So still waiting on that one and a few more others here. So, And this is one of my bigger ones. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim all the leaves off of this one. See, it's starting to turn yellow a little bit. This is one of my big, my biggest one actually. I'm going to trim these leaves back so I can get right down, right down here to this pup here, to the stalk of the of the tree, and I'm going to clip these leaves off and I'm going to plant it in a nice large container like this one over here. I might leave that one, the one I got in here, but to grow alongside it, I don't know, I might replant it. But that's what's up. I just wanted to give a quick update to all my plants. And uh, hopefully I can help somebody if you got any questions, anything uh, I can answer to uh, help you out. Maybe you might be getting started and uh, if you have questions, uh, just comment in the comment section below and I'll respond as soon as I can, as soon as I see them. So that's what's up. Those are my Seiko palm trees and my seedlings. And so like and subscribe and comment. All right, this is Danny giving an update once again, signing out. And I appreciate everybody who watches this video and comment and that's it. Y'all be good. Bye, God bless you.